the building that we're going to see move today uh, used to stay on the block over here at 4th and C. It was built in 1895. This is the it's called Public School, which the original day was Grammar School building in the 1800s. This, the house that's moving today was, this is 4th Street, this is C Street. The school burnt down in July of 1919. And they had to scramble for school rooms, and the gentleman who was in the house was prepared to let them use it as a classroom in various of the buildings around town. And then we come over here, you see in the Davis Enterprise in July of 1919, they're rushing to build a new building, uh, which was the famous Davis Grammar School called Davis Central School, up until it was torn down in the 1950s. They put up a new building in a hurry. In the process, they were able to get the owners at the end of the block to sell them all the property on the block so that the school district owned this house. But they didn't want the house, they just wanted the property for the schoolyard. So they put it up for sale. And here we have in the Davis Enterprise of September 10, 1920. The uh, house was sold at public auction, and Mr. Henley, the father of the famous Bud Henley, bought it and moved it around from C Street here to 312 D Street in 1920, 1921. And it's been there since then. This will be its second move. machine and there was a message from Dan Dielling that um, he saw our loft, he thought it was just perfect for this house he was trying to get rid of and that he was also including $20,000 to help with the cost of the move. And so we called him back that night because we really didn't under quite understand what was going on. We hadn't heard previously of it. And that's when he explained it to us. We took a look at it that night since my husband was going to be out of town that week. And we presented it to the Historical Commission along with a custom plan that we had for this lot as well. So we presented both and they preferred that we move the house pretty tall. It was $15,000 to pay the house movers and then we paid um, SBC Pacific Bell about uh, $2,500 and then we paid PG&E $500 but we don't know if there's going to be any more cost with pg &E, but I think it's going to stay about 500 So altogether, it's about $2,800. We have to replumb it, new electrical. Um, we've got the new foundation in, so there's a lot of work that needs to go in.
I think that we should save uh, old structures in town as much as possible. Uh, moving the structure is one way to do that. Historic preservation is a team effort, and uh, there are a number of people coming together today, including uh, the Laughlins and, and uh, um, these, uh, pg and &E, uh, the contractors, the family that are taking this house, the property owner that uh, gave it to them with the $20,000 benefit, and others to uh, make sure that this happens, including the Historic Resources Commission.
things like they weigh nothing, huh?